Gems in the Rock, holding it down with your boy Marlin, aka MS. Sue Well, they called you Bagley. You got any more uh, nicknames? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah. Catch fire. That's what's up. Nigga man. don't miss. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? What's poppin'? Yo, what school did you attend for the viewers that don't know? Tilden High School and Monroe Community College. That's what's up. And back then, in Tilden, which is you know legendary in Brooklyn, I know they did um, movies there, from, the, from from what I'm understanding. Did they film um, uh, the Above movie? Above the Rim. Above the Rim there. That's what's up. Was you around when that movie was? Yeah, you know, we was in there? school while I was going on. Okay. What was it like with the movie set, you know, seeing, um, I mean, Pac in the gym? You know what I mean? I mean, if you was there or yeah, heard yeah, we the, the whispers. seen all of them. You know how it go. It was good. It was chilling there, you know. All the hoes going crazy. You know You know how it go, my nigga. Yeah. Pac in the gym. Tell right. me. That was Man. legendary. So you played backcourt alongside of um, uh, Ed Coda. Yeah. What was it like, you know, those you know, freshman year to 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 your senior? I've been playing with son. Me and son been playing together since we was kids, like 13, 12 years old. So every okay. tournament, everywhere, all over the country, all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And y'all just found your way to Tilden together. Did y'all yeah. make that decision just knowing? Yeah, we used to go to New Utrecht together, and then we transferred from New Utrecht to Tilden. Mm. And who was y'all middle school coaches, you know, encouraging y'all to go to to this? Um, but we was but we was playing with Brooklyn USA. That's when we met Rock. Mm -hmm. That was a coach of two. Right, right, right. Man, just would you mind elaborating what the chemistry was like when y'all, you know, got to high school? Son, it was yeah, it was it was like breathing playing with homeboy. Son, like that's my bro. You know what I'm saying? It was like breathing playing, playing, playing with him. I know where he at. He know where I'm at. It just, it just, it just made sense. You know what I'm saying? So you leave, um, you know, till then, and you start your uh, college career. What was it like going to Monroe? It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was, it was different at first. That was like that was the first time of me splitting up with him and going to play by myself. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I usually play the two, but he played the one. But we were switching the wheels. We could switch, but he was mostly the one. So when I got to my role, I had to take over the one completely. Yeah. And what was it like seeing your boy on the stage of North Carolina, you know what I'm saying, playing with like Vince Carter, you know what I mean, Jay? Son, that's normal you know I mean? shit, son. Yo, so we already knew he belonged there, son. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be in, he, 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 he was supposed to be in the league too. That's one of the that's one of, that's one of the guys who got jerked. Mm. I know he had some workouts with a couple of teams. Um was it the Knicks? Yeah, he worked out with the Knicks for a while. And Charlie Ward, you know, was uh, working out during that time. I don't know if it was, uh, you know, said that he was somewhat getting, you know, to his spots. In the NBA, it's really about making those wide open shots, making those um, extra passes, extra plays. Do you think that his style of play was designed for the NBA? And why did he fall short, you know, in, uh, in terms Son, of... That's one of the niggas who got fall short because of politics. Right. His game belonged in the NBA. He was in the workhouse dogging all of them. Mm -hmm. And I guess it was because they already had their guards and they was paying their guards or whatever they was doing that he didn't, he, he, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't make it. Mm -hmm. But he deserved to be in the league. Everybody know that. That's what's up, man. Yeah, then, um, you, so you finished MCC, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what was it like before you finished um, uh, playing with the likes of, you know, some New York City kids in, in Rochester and then mixed in with the locals in, um, in Rochester as well? You know, was it competitive with the upstate, downstate you thing? You know how I go. <clears throat> you know how I go. Right. They had, go they had their crew. We had our crew from down there. But they just know I had to come in here and boss niggas' ass. Niggas know. <laughs> niggas know me. We ain't gonna call That's no up. names, no way. Right. Niggas know I was coming, taking spots. Stop playing. That's what's up, man. So afterwards, um, uh, you stop playing for a while, and then you have a son that you know wants to embark in the game. What was it like uh, seeing your son um, somewhat getting a torch passed to him? And um, was you seeing any of yourself in your son when he started playing and picking up the love for the game? Yeah, something was good. Don't I, I ain't never tell him this before, but <laughs> I think he was he was better than me. 
You know right, what I'm right. saying? But I bust his ass. Still. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. But, but yeah, son, it was it was it was good to see the torch, and it was good that I never know that I was I had turned out to be one of the fucking them dads in the crowd wilding on the reps and all that right, shit. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So what would you uh, give? as far as lessons or gems to any parent that has a kid that's, you know, um, in the sport, you know, trying to, you know, see their way through and whatnot. Don't force the game on them. Let them, let them pick the game. Let them pick the sport they want to play and then just support them 100%. You know what I'm saying? And, and if they got the potential, push them to the limit that they can go to. You know what I'm saying? You know how they hard it sometimes. They don't, they don't see the forest from the trees, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, we've yeah. been there and we've done that, so we know what it takes to get to where they got to go. You That's know what I'm saying? saying? Stay on their back, push them hard, and you know what I'm saying? Let them reach their potential. That's what's up, man. Salute. Gems in the Rock. Got your boy MS. Holla at your boy. Appreciate your time.